Welcome to Safety Hearts and Minds, videos to help you energize safety culture, build teamwork, and get employee buy-in. Look, we're in a time of movements and uprisings. I mean, all you have to do is turn on the news. Any day of the week, you're likely to be met by at least one story in a, a movement or a protest or people taking a stand on something. Look, when you see the level of passion and buy-in to these movements, it begs the question, maybe we've been doing safety all wrong. Instead of trying to get people to follow rules, maybe we should have been creating a movement that stood up against injury and incident. Maybe we should be getting our people so angry they take a stand and say enough is enough to their co-workers getting hurt. Well, we should be holding our safety meetings not to talk so much about procedures and rules and paperwork, but we should be talking about helping each other and looking out for each other and caring about what happens to the people standing next to us. We should be spitting mad when a coworker shows up hungover or so full of cold meds and expects it's going to be business as usual today. And we should be disappointed when coworkers take shortcuts or circumvent the procedures that end up being risky and incredibly selfish. We should have a set of standards that are grassroots driven. Something that says, look, you want to work with us? Here's how it's going to go. We've got to stop making minimum compliance the goal. The law is not the end point. It's the starting point. We've got to stand up against things like it's Monday as an excuse for a half-hearted effort and the same for Friday. See, maybe we've been doing safety all wrong. What's the change you want to make? What do you want your people to do differently that they're not doing now? And maybe ask yourself why all this time you still haven't asked them to do that thing. Maybe instead of a compliance program, it needs to become a movement of people who care about doing something meaningful with their work. We need to change safety from a checkbox compliance program to a movement of caring individuals who want something better. It's going to take courage and leadership, and you have to genuinely care about the people that you have the privilege of working with each day. But your safety program can become a hearts and minds movement of committed people who simply want something better for their workplace.